The Western Carolina University Catamount football team conducted their annual spring game on Saturday at E.J. Whitmire Stadium. Head football coach Mark Spear was pumped up for the game that featured the offense in purple and the defense in white. The sidelines were flooded with anxious members of the 2013 Catamount recruiting class. Quarterback Eddie Sullivan was the highlight of the Catamount offense, completing 13 of his 16 passes for three touchdowns. Coach Spears seemed to be eyeing Sullivan for the starting spot after his great performance Saturday afternoon. Defensive lineman Brian Johnson also had a solid performance at the spring game. Freshman quarterback Jonah Dugan seemed to be struggling early, but after halftime, he slowly began to pick up the offense. Defensive back Brandon Grady made several key stops for the Catamount defense. Redshirt freshman Jawan Simmons continued the overall quarterback struggles for the Catamounts. He was often under pressure from the defense. Eddie Sullivan proves that he can do more than just throw the football. Wide receiver Canoris Benson made some fantastic catches for the Catamounts all day long. There was a bit of animosity in the air between the offense and the defense during the entire game. Halfback Darius Ramsey had a tough day finding holes to run through along the offensive line. Eddie Sullivan showed off his excellent agility during the 2013 spring game. Former University of North Carolina kicker Clark Seacrest continues the Catamount tradition of poor kicking, going 0 for 3 on the day. The crowd at the spring game was one of the largest seen in many years at Bob Waters Field. Defensive back Ace Clark was a clear standout player for the Catamount defense. Some may think that both sides would go easy on each other, but the Catamount defense was barking at the offense during the entire game. The spring game was action-packed, as there was yelling the entire game coming from both the players and the crowd. Quarterback Jawan Simmons had a tough day under center for the Catamounts, but everyone feels that with his previous experience at North Carolina Tech, it could really give him a boost as he prepares to become the Catamounts' starting quarterback in the years to come. The only visible injury of the day was defensive back A.J. McCoy, who was lying on a table along the sideline for much of the day. The receiving core looked outstanding with multiple wide receivers scoring touchdowns. Freshman Gary Richardson was also in on the Catamount receiver's good offensive day. The defense took it personal as they appeared to be treating the spring game as a conference matchup, dishing out several punishing hits on Catamount receivers. Jaleel Lorquette will have to help the Catamounts tremendously by building off his solid freshman season in Cullowee. Coach Spear knows the task won't be an easy one with road matchups against Middle Tennessee State, Virginia Tech, and Auburn University, but remains optimistic about his team's chances. We will have to wait until the fall to see if the Catamounts can improve on their 1-10 overall record from one year ago.